big day today. I'm gonna do my first long distance. It's gonna be long and hot and heavy. But at this point I'm really excited. I hope it goes well because yesterday I had some issues with my bike and it gave me a lot of stress. So it can only go well. Uh, 4.44. Uh, Jana is doing her first long distance today and um, uh, yeah. I'm, the, I'm supporting her the whole day, um, I'm trying to take you along, uh, give you a few impressions of how my day as a supporter at Challenge Road uh, looks like mm. and um, yeah, gonna, gonna drink our coffees and then uh, yeah, at 5 we wanted to leave uh, to Roth uh, to check the bike, oh, Jana will check her bike yet in, in the morning transition. I tried. I try to film as much as possible with the GoPro. I won't bring the big camera, but so uh, yeah. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope we will enjoy it. wish for is good legs, no technical problems and fun. I need fun. We'll be fine. I'm good. Let's have some fun today. Come on Jana, come on! Really good swim, come on, now enjoy it! All right, update uh, from the car. Jana uh, just came out of the water, is now on the first loop of uh, 180k bike course. And uh, she's right in time. Um, I didn't check the athlete tracker yet, but she swam yeah, around one hour, which is perfect, which is right in the plan. And now I'm crossing my fingers that um, yeah, there won't be any mechanical problems, no flat tire or anything, and she will enjoy the bike ride and uh, yeah won't go too hard hopefully in the first loop but uh, yeah she can definitely do it and now Thomas and me <laughs> just uh, yeah we have now about almost two hours um, until we can see her again so yeah we're just gonna check out local bakery get some breakfast and a coffee and chill a bit and yeah see you there to reach Jana at kilometer 96. Um, have all my shortcuts here on the on the Wahoo. And yeah, I saw her since the swim start now three times already. And gonna see her two more times now in her second second lap. And then I'm gonna go for the run course. And there yeah I will see her a lot because I'm able to move fast with the bike. Yeah, and I'm just always telling her to eat and drink, cool herself and save energy. It's really, really warm, really hot day. So 
everyone who is doing here Challenge Road has already my uh, huge respect. It's definitely really tough conditions. And anyway, yeah, long distance, it's just crazy. But of course, now when I see this, I get goosebumps. This, really, this uh, race is just amazing. And I can't wait to race here once myself. You're crazy. You're so crazy. You're not. No. You're really good in the plan, John. It's so hard. Come on, just don't push, don't push too hard. So just saw Jana at uh, kilometer 100. She looked really good. Also could uh, talk a little bit with her. She also felt I was feeling really good. Uh, she's eating a lot. She's drinking a lot. She's not pushing too hard. So yeah, and her time is also quite solid to now. So um, we will see. It's going to be exciting what the rest of the day will bring, but I'm optimistic. Yeah, she can do that. Of course, now comes the hard part uh, from a long distance. And yeah, now I have like one hour, 45 minutes until I see her again at about kilometer 155. Um, I'm gonna use that right back uh, to Hilpolstein to the open pool and have a little swim with Thomas. Three to 4K, depends how much time we have. Um, yeah, just gonna move a little, get some training in and then gonna focus on the rest of the day. All right, now short uh, cooling down uh, in the open pool. I have now exactly one hour until I have to be out of the water again and um, right to kilometer 155 where I can see Jana one more time. Let's see if we can do 4K uh, in, in one hour. But, but I think so, because we're gonna swim almost non-stop. We have no equipment though, so it's gonna be freestyle, backstroke, medley, and freestyle, freestyle, freestyle. All right, had a nice uh, 3K easy swim. We decided 3K is enough, as it wasn't uh, the best quality today. It was just, uh, yeah, really easy. Um, nice uh, cool down uh, in the heat. It's 31 degrees outside right now. So it's gonna be a really, really, really tough uh, marathon for everyone uh, racing Trench Road and now back to the course. Come on, it's okay. That's, that's where it hurts. You're almost done with the bike leg, come on. You're doing really well. It's okay, that's totally normal. Really good job. Drinking and eating well, cooling well. Focus on that, the last 30k. 30k, come on. Almost done with the bike leg, then just the run left. Come on, really good. We are at kilometer two, Jana is coming. It's for sure hard, it's really hot, but uh, she's doing fine. She shouldn't start too fast. Good job, good job. Keep it easy, keep it easy. Good. Good job, good pace, come on. Jana's doing really well. She's now at kilometer 15, running constant pace since the beginning. Didn't get any slower yet. <laughs> but she said she's, uh, she's fine, she feels relaxed. She's running for heart rate. Really good, she's doing such a great job. Currently, uh, the predicted finish time would be 12 hours. That would be huge for the heat. Um, I don't think, I think, I'm sure it's getting a little slower um, in the end uh, because especially there's like it's getting hilly in the second half of the marathon 
and yeah and a lot of things can happen in the second half of the marathon but uh, yeah she's doing really great also uh, stay uh, yeah safe second place in her age group the first place is like 15 kilometer in front of her and the third place is 15 kilometer um, behind her so yeah she just has to keep running and it will be so great just trying to catch her now again I'm always doing like a stop and go in the marathon so like I overtake her stop somewhere cheer on her take pictures give her gels which is allowed here at the aid stations um, and then yeah and then let her pass me and then just overtake her again so basically I see her almost every one or two kilometer um, but yeah I'm, I'm being careful with the bike and all the marathon runners uh, right now I'm here on the path uh, next to the course come on almost in Büchenbach Come on, almost there. On the way back from uh, Roth to Hilpolstein, so basically from T2 to T1, have to pick up the car. And yeah, what should I say? I'm more than proud of Jana. It's amazing what she did today. Really, I have so huge respect for her. Finishing uh, her first long distance in this heat. And not only that, she had 12 hour 20 minutes and we said like a dream time would be 12, 12 around 12 hours but for ideal conditions and this weren't ideal conditions today so yeah she uh, did a really great job I'm really proud of her and she also won her age group even better uh, so we have to come back tomorrow uh, here to road to for the awards and yeah that's basically it, it was um, my day as a supporter for Jana and Roth I hope you liked the video um, drop it drop in the comments um, uh, congrats for Jana and uh, yeah you can also give her a follow on Instagram she would be happy for that I'm sure um, and yeah always as always don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i hope you enjoyed the video um, i hope i will recover fast from this it was a really tough day for me as well two hard training weeks coming for the pto canadian open and um, starting from yeah tomorrow i have a rest day so starting from day after tomorrow i have not much time to recover all right see you